It looks like Rick Davies of Super Tramp is feeling much better. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Ricky and the Rockets is a side project for Rick Davies. And the fact that he's doing these shows, though they're rare, shows that he's doing a lot better. In 2015, he was diagnosed with a disease that kills a lot of people, multiple myeloma. I have friends, fathers, who had it and didn't last past two years. But the word is, Rick Davies tried some experimental treatments and it's worked out okay. He just did a show with Ricky and the Rockets. And my friend David Mendelhall, who will join us in just a second to talk about it, told me that they did bloody well right downstream from now on and the light during the show for Ricky and the Rockets. He's getting on stage. He looks good. We'll share a picture in just a second. That was taken at uh, Rick Davies' home in Long, uh, Long Island, New York. And when was it taken? It had to be in the last two days. How far back does Rick's band go? How far back has he had this side project? It's not really like a side project. Uh, sometimes when Super Tramp would go to a town and they had like another day, they would go to like a little bar they would play, but they wouldn't advertise it as Super Tramp. They would advertise it as Ricky and the Rockets. They did that in 86, I know, somewhere in Germany. He, um, when I heard that he, it was multiple myeloma that he had. Right. Rick seems to have turned around and is he looks good well evidently there was some real active progressive measures that they took and he'll never be like 100 percent but the other guys are saying like 95 percent so maybe there's a chance that he'll get they'll tour again super tramp fans must be rejoicing whether super tramp ever gets back together everyone wants him to be healthy obviously there will no, no be no way that roger will be part of the equation but at least you know the other guys so that's never going to happen with roger as far as you know because you've got more of an inside yeah, you're saying that was like the elephant in the room it's uh, there was a time in 93 that they did get together for a little while they worked on you win i lose i know that they worked on that song together i know that for a fact and uh it was going good there for a little while and then they started talking about the business into the things and it just kind of fell apart. Uh, a lot of people don't know, Roger wanted two things. One was that uh, Sue Davies, Rick's wife, would not be managing the group. And two, that they would need to have separate songwriting credits on the newer songs. You know, before that, it was exactly like the Beatles, Lennon, McCartney, assigned to both of them. So, you know, it was no bickering. You know, later on, Roger figured he wanted to have his own credits for both of them. But those were the two conditions that Roger yeah. had. And that didn't go down well, well, obviously. It didn't happen. And then there was another time, uh, there was a meeting in Toronto, maybe 12 years ago. And the results of that were a no-go as well. Well, you're known as like the Super Tramp archival guy. You obviously have more than anybody else. That's no. Right. There's somebody that is, else? That is negative, yes. We have a guy named Fabrice Bellinger. He lives in in Paris. I don't know if you like see the picture. The picture from left to right is Carl Bahian, played since Free as a Bird with a group. And then it got Rick Davies, of course. And then on the other side of him is Mark Hart. That was in Crowded House. And actually, he was in Crowded House on the last tour. And then you have Marty Walsh that also played uh, guitar. Brother, Where You Bound and Free as a Bird tours. So that's who's in those pictures. I saw this on, on, on Facebook and, and I was so happy for you. Tell me about when you were in the audience and Roger points to you and basically lets everyone know that you're like you're one of the top archival guys for Super Tramp. Tell me what he said and tell me how you felt. Oh, he just said that he knew more that he knows more about me and the group than, than anybody. I don't know if that's <laughs> nearly true or anything, but I'll put it out to you this way. There was a time when I was a kid that I was be like it'd be great just to like meet him, right? Well, it's like totally progress way past then it, and then it's like it'd be great if you remembered who i am and then you know and then i got involved with the breakfast in america the uh, two cd project this kind of progresses but i don't know how am i going to top the next thing <laughs> will super tramp ever get back together probably not with roger hodgson they tried a few times as david has mentioned and sometimes it's what they say down south that dog won't hunt it's just not going to happen as long as they stay healthy though and do their own music that's cool i can live with that Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.